Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the bulk user deletion using segments feature within Interactive Studio. But let's begin with a quick overview of what it is, when you would use it, and who can perform the deletion. Very simply put, Interaction Studio's bulk user deletion functionality allows customers to permanently delete all users in a selected segment from the platform, providing you with increased control over the number of users that reside in the Interaction Studio system. In terms of when you would use this feature, let's start with when you would not use this feature. The bulk user deletion feature should not be used to process CCPA, GDPR, or any other deletion requirements that fall under a right to be forgotten legislation. We have the user lookup and deletion API that's documented in our support site for those tasks. It can be used when you accidentally upload users into the system via the user ETL, for example, and you want to remove those users. And it can also be used to purge old users from the system. In this example, though, you should always make sure that you're never likely to see the visitor to your site again. If there's a chance they might return, then you should consider not deleting them as you're losing the user and all of the associated intent and affinity data that you've collected that would be used to make any future visit more personalized and more relevant. So finally, before we jump in, who can make these changes in the Interaction Studio platform? This capability is restricted to account administrators to ensure that segments aren't deleted by accident. This is not reversible. So let's take a look at the how. Let's start off in the user segment list and in this case, I'm in my archive folder, as that's where I store the segments of users I want to delete. As you can see, I accidentally added a file with 89 users through the user ETL, and they're the ones that I don't want to have in my data set anymore. So to begin with, we open up the segment you want to delete, and then you can very simply click the Delete All Users in the Segment button. When you click the button, it pops up with this modal, which explains the deletion functionality. It's important to note that once you confirm this deletion, you can't stop the deletion job, and the users who are deleted are permanently deleted. There is no recovery of the data. So we have a double confirmation here. So if you've accidentally clicked to delete users, you can close the box. If you do want to delete users, then you need to check off the box saying that you've read the message before you can the confirm delete button becomes active. So once we've confirmed deletion, depending on the size of the segment, it may take a few minutes, or with much larger segments, it may take up to five days for the deletion to complete. To check on the status of the segment deletion, you can go back to the segment list. Interaction Studio changes the segment that's being deleted to a disabled state, as we don't want new users joining the segment while it's in the process of deleting all the existing users you can click on the Show Disabled button to find your segment. As you click on the segment to view if it's completed, the segment, as you can see, is empty. If it's still in process, it would show the segment deletion is underway in the message. Note that although everyone's deleted, been deleted from the system, the 89 count is still here as it's cached. This will refresh when you log out and log back into the system. So. That's how we delete user segments from Interactive Studio, but before we finish, there are a few things to be aware of in relation to this feature. Firstly, for very large segments, not only might it take up to five days, but there is a chance the segment may not delete all the users in the segment. In that case, if you see there's still a user in the segment once this has happened, then you just need to repeat the steps again and delete all the remaining users. Secondly, you can only run one segment deletion at a time. If a segment deletion is running and you try to delete a second segment, you won't be able to, as the Delete All Users in a Segment button is not clickable. Finally, if you have the Interaction Studio Data Warehouse, the users are not deleted from there. The bulk user deletion using segments only deletes users from the Interaction Studio application. For more information, check out the Knowledge Base to access anything about Interaction Studio, where everything is searchable by keyword. You can also sign up for guided in-depth lessons of core functionality at ecampus.evergage.com. To stay up to date with upcoming videos of new capabilities, make sure to like and subscribe.